Hello YouTube and welcome to the comic book channel. Really quick, if this is your first time here and you like the content, please make sure you subscribe. Please leave a thumbs up and leave a, com a comment <laughs> letting me know what you thought about my review and the book I'm reviewing. So with that being said, tonight I am reviewing Death of, Death of the Inhumans, number one. Um, first, I have all the covers here, so I'm going to show the covers really quick. Then we'll get into a synopsis for the book, and then we will uh, go ahead and do a review for the book. So this is the regular cover here. Beautiful regular cover. Um, all the covers are actually very, very nice, but I do like this regular cover a lot. Uh, then we have a Javier Garon, Garon, I don't know, Young Guns cover. With Medusa and Black Bolt on the cover there. We have a Russell Dodderman cover, a uh, Young Guns cover as well. I guess there's two Young Guns covers on this. Really cool Medusa cover there with her hair everywhere. Uh, I don't know what's up with the Black Bolt monument. doesn't really reflect anything in the issue, but that is that cover. Um, then, as shown in my last video, I believe, <laughs> uh, there's a um, Greg Hildebrandt. 1 in 25 variant cover here. Um, I really like this one a lot. This is a really cool cover. And then this one's pretty in demand. Um, this is a Vox character design cover. Uh, I don't know who it's by. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any information on who it's by. But um, it's a really cool cover too. So all these covers have been really cool, really awesome covers. Um, so just wanted to kind of show those, but I will keep my cover up as I always do, um, here as I do the synopsis and review. Let me just set those down. Um, so, basically, Death of the Inhumans starts out with, uh, the Inhumans that we know, you know, Black Bolt, Medusa, and, uh, you know, some of the other crew, uh, <clears throat> getting... Uh, a message um, that they need to join the Kree or die. Um, the Kree is sending out this message by killing Inhumans and, you know, kind of putting that message on their bodies or whatever, making sure that that gets out to Black Bolt and, and his crew. Um, now, the issue does touch on, you know, the uh, origin of the Inhumans and how the Kree created them and all that. But there's no need for me to go into that. It's just a couple of pages. Um, and I feel like, you know, everybody, most people, you know, kind of know what's going on there. <clears throat> um, so from there, we find out that Black Bolt's not interested in that. He's not going to back down. He's not going to join someone or die. He's the king of these Inhumans, and he's going to, he's going to fight. He wants to go to war. He's not going to die, and he's not going to join. He's going to, he's going to fight. So Black Bolt... Uh, goes to, you know, like a, kind of like a meeting, I guess, amongst uh, some of the other Inhumans, some of the alien Inhumans, um, to go talk about a plan of attack, I, I guess. I guess that's what they're doing. Um, and then he finds that it was a trap, and they were, they are all actually been killed. Um, <clears throat> and these are like queens or something. I, I believe they're queens. I don't know. I don't know how you can have more than one Queen. I don't know. Either way, they're like something higher up um, in the Inhumans, and they, yeah, they're all dead. It was a trap, um, and one of them they find alive, and they're like, you know, go to one of one of the Inhumans goes to talk to her to find out what happened. He sees a vision through her of what happened. He sees a, this new character that's introduced in this issue named Vox, um, and he sees that he is, you know, kind of their warrior who's, you know, causing all this uh, destruction and carnage throughout the universe or galaxy or whatever. Um, and then they find that there was a bomb attached to the body of her and uh, the one that was still alive. And of course that blows up and, uh, you know, it, it does injure Medusa, but she's not dead in this issue. Um, so... Basically, next up, um, we see 
uh, Maximus, who is Black Bolt's brother, um, going to to find Vox and and he wants to fight him. He's got his big gun cannon thing, and he's gonna he's gonna kill Vox and get rid of him and, and stop this nonsense. Uh, so he goes to try to do that, uh, and I believe that's on Vox's world, uh, which is I, I can't remember the name of it, but um. It turns out that uh, Lockjaw, you know, is going to teleport there and help him out and everything. Uh, so Lockjaw does teleport there uh, to try to save Maximus or, or help him fight Vox or whatever the, the case is. And, you know, big spoiler, so if you don't want spoilers, go ahead and turn off the video now. Um, but it does appear that Lockjaw and Maximus are killed by Vox. Vox has... Uh, powers comparable to that of Black Bolt's where he speaks and can you know shoot these beams out from his mouth and, and kill at will um, and it, it appears that that's what happened now I don't know if that's gonna be the case I don't know if at the last second Lockjaw teleported them somewhere else or whatever um, it would suck to lose Lockjaw as a character but the title of this book is Death of the Inhumans so that very well could be the case but I don't know um, Either way, that pretty much wraps up the issue. Um, you know, there's some... Uh, sorry. There's some, um, you know, comparisons to uh, the construction of Rome and the fall of Rome, like, in, in a day or something like that. Uh, and, and that's about it. Then it, then it wraps it up. Um, <clears throat> so it was a pretty intense issue. There's a lot going on there. A lot happens uh, really quick it definitely hits the ground running like the second you open the page um, and it, it's a great read it's a really good book um, I really like the way it was written a lot uh, Donny Cates always does such a great job you know writing these things and uh, writing uh, making such big events out of things you know that that maybe either you wouldn't have cared about before or or just something you would have never expected, like he did with Thanos and uh, Doctor Strange Damnation and stuff like that. He's just a really good writer right now. Um, baby baby teeth and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, either way, uh, the, the writing's great, the dialogue's very good. Um, it doesn't hit that, uh, you know, kind of boring over your head talk that a lot of stuff with the Inhumans does for me at least. Um, I'm able to read you know some Inhuman stuff and I really enjoyed that Black Bolt uh, miniseries from last year but um, other than that some of the Inhuman stuff is just a little weird and over my head I guess uh, but this definitely like you know came down to my level a little better and uh, definitely made me interested in the story and the characters so um, I really really do like the way it was written uh, and I liked the artwork just fine. I thought it was great. This cover art's very great. All of those covers are really good. Um, there's not anything too negative I can think of to say about it, you know, or critique. Um, it's by no means like a perfect issue or anything like that. Um, but as far as the pacing and the dialogue and then the artwork, it, it was, it was definitely, uh, you know, exceeded my expectations and was uh, a little better than normal. So, I think you know this first issue. I'm gonna I'm gonna give a seven point five. You know, altogether, uh, maybe a seven on the art uh, inside. But yeah, I'm gonna go with a seven point five on this issue. Um, and of course, as I said, this is Death of Inhumans number one, written by Donny Cates. Um, with art by Ariel Olivetti. Olivetti? <laughs> um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think about the book if you read it. Hopefully you read it if you're watching this review because I spoiled the hell out of it and you probably will hate me if you didn't already read the book. So let me know what you thought about it. Let me know if you think my review is accurate. Um, and let me know if you're excited for the next issue. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. See you tomorrow.